Nick Wilber with Fire Apparatus and Emergency Equipment. Today we're going to be talking about weighing fire trucks. So first of all, before we put this fire truck in service, we get a brand new from whatever manufacturer we get it. We should be weighing it, looking at our weight analysis from the manufacturer, understanding that of pre-engineering. When the fire truck's built and is designed and made, we want to make sure that we look at the weights again. We communicate all of our equipment allotment that we're going to be putting on there, how much our equipment's going to be weighed, where it's located at, and again, keeping that conversation going with our choice manufacturer. Then when we get the fire truck in, before we put it in service, we're going to weigh the fire truck. So first we're going to set our scales. If we have portable scales, we can talk to local police department, state troopers, commercial vehicle division, uh, or if there's any scales in your area, um, grain, uh, salvage yards. We're looking for a certified scale, however we can get it. Today we're fortunate enough to have uh, portable scales here located at uh, Prince George's County shop. And so we're going to put the scales down. We're going to pull the rig up. We want to make sure that our front axle is within the front axle weight. We're going to make, make sure our rear axle is within the rear axle weight. And then those combined totals, when we weigh the entire fire truck, it's within that gross vehicle weight rating. Now, big things to remember on uh, some smaller type vehicles that are not custom fire truck chassis, those gross vehicle weight ratings are limited by the braking capability of that chassis. So it's not going to be the same gross vehicle weight rating that you would see in a larger vehicle where the front axle and the rear axle added together is the gross vehicle weight rating. Some of those have larger axle capacity, but the gross vehicle weight rating is limited by the braking capability. So how we're going to find some of that information is that NFPA requires that every fire truck that's built has a placard within view of the driver or in the area of the driver that has the gross vehicle weight rating for each axle of the fire truck um, and then obviously the, the combined gross vehicle weight rating for the vehicle. And then NFPA 1910 also says yearly, every year we're going to weigh this fire truck. So if we're making major repairs, um, if we're going to be adding or taking equipment away, those are all good times to weigh that fire truck. Last thing we want to talk about, just because there's a placard up there, doesn't mean that that's still the, the rate, weight rating of this axle in this vehicle. We want to make sure we're checking the tire, the springs, the suspension, everything that's involved with this package to make sure that it's still what the manufacturer said was supposed to be there. So every year when we go to weigh these fire trucks, we want to confirm to make sure that the parts that were designed and manufactured for this fire truck are still on it. And if we find any overweight conditions, we're going to take that fire truck out of service and we're going to make sure we can rectify that situation before we go back down on the road again.